Hey, hey, planner babes. This is Brittany of Planning with Brit, and it's good to be back. Um, I have not recorded a video, I'm going to say, in about three weeks. Um, life has been lifing. Uh, March is normally a pretty busy month for my family because of my birthday, my twin's birthday, my brother-in-law and my mother-in-law's birthday. And we've had some additional activities this month, so... I haven't been able to really share anything planner related that I have been doing or buying over the last few weeks, but I'm going to take this video to get caught up on everything. So this might be a little long, but I'm going to try to make it be as short and sweet as possible. So let me get started. So you guys see all the wonderful goodies here I have on my desk. Um, for those who follow me on Instagram, um, you guys know that I've been into fountain pens and inks. I kind of started this last summer and, you know, did little did little orders here and there, buying different um, pens and inks. You guys know that I have fell in love with Ferris World Press. So I have a good amount of their inks and their um, corrals of fountain pens, but I have branched off a little bit. Um, you guys know in December I bought my first Twisby fountain pen. So from Christmas up until now, I think I am on pen number four for Twisby. So yeah, um, and then my husband would probably say I've been a little out of control with my planner frenzy spending. So I'm going to scale it back a little bit. But in the midst of all of that, I attended my first pen show um, the beginning of March. I think it was March 3rd. So here in Maryland, they had the Baltimore um, International Pen Show at BWI airport and I actually took my 16 year old son with me it was both of our first time kind of took my son just as you know as my wingman something me and him can do together he was a little skeptical about it at first but he really really enjoyed himself to the point that I bought him his first Twisby fountain pen and he is using some of my purple inks that I have because purple is his favorite color he actually has the same pen as I do so yeah, um, it was really fun. It was very overwhelming as it was being my first ever show to go to, but I really enjoyed myself. Me and my son are actually going to go to the DC Virginia one in August down in Fairfax, Virginia. So yeah, we're really looking forward to attending. So I did purchase a few items at the Baltimore Pen Show. So I'm going to get started with that. So let me move this, this. Um, the pens that I bought are in this, so I'm going to start right here. So when I went to the pen show, I did have a pen that I ordered, which was the Twisby, and excuse me if I get it wrong, so let me not butcher this, the Twisby Iris Back 700R, which is this bad boy right here. Um, so I was able to go to the pen show with this pen in hand. Um, me and my son did a, a free workshop. It was like a beginner's pen one-on-one -on -one class. So I got to actually teach him about the different pens, the different nibs, how, you know, the converters as far as how you fill up the pens, all of the different styles in that nature. So my son was really excited, which is how I said he bought his first pen because he was really excited on how the pens and stuff work. So I have got this right before going to the pen show. Um, the pens that I did buy at the pen show were these two pens right here which this is a Jen Hao pen. I'm not sure if it's, I don't think it's the 100th century series, but I purchased this and I bought this um, Noir pen. This pen I had been looking at for quite some time and I saw it at the pen show and I was just like, okay, it was my destiny, my destiny to go ahead and pick it up. So this is what it looks like. It's kind of clear with the purple, um, not risen, but the purple swirls on the, the actual pen itself. And I have it inked with a blue um, First World Press Shimmer ink in this pen. So yeah, these were the two pens that I bought. This one also has a First World Press ink in it that actually matches. So those were the two pens that I picked up at the show. Um, my son, actually, I purchased him the Twisby um, Ego pen in the purple translucent. So if you guys have not seen it, this is what it looks like. And the same ink that I have in mine is the same ink he has in his. Like I said, purple is his, is his favorite color. So I didn't buy him any ink because I have numerous purple shades of um ink. So 
but he wanted this pen and he's been actually taking it to school and like doing his class notes and stuff with it. So it's pretty cool that he has the pen to go along with his mama. So along at the pen show that I bought was my first wearing ghoul ink. And I bought it in the Wendy Wendy Darling is I guess the um I guess the Peter Pan series. I know they have Peter Pan, they have Captain Hook, um, they have Tinkerbell. But I wanted this ink. I had saw the different um swatches of it. I had I had it in my pen at first, but I noticed the swatch is gorgeous. But when the ink is in the pen, it's really, 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 really light. Um, that's how the cover looks. It says Wendy Darling. And then when you move the bottle, it shows Wendy flying in the air. But the ink is, in the bottle, it looks dark blue. But it's really a light blue ink. And that is the shimmer. It's silver shimmer. And it has a pretty pastel pink undertone to it. So that's what it looks like on the card that comes in the box. If you don't know about the wearing gold inks, it comes with each box comes with an actual like pre-printed swatch card for you. But wearing gold also has different um swatch cards with different faces and stuff on them. Like I purchased the one with the rabbit. They have the dog, the cat, the water droplet, and Tinkerbell swatch cards. I purchased the swatch cards also at the pen show, but they didn't have any cases, so I did have to go online and order my case. But it was fine because the case was like six bucks, so that was nothing. But yeah, this is how the swatch looks. And I will show you my swatches that I have in here of this ink in just a second. So that's how it looks. The swatch, once you do it a few times, it's very dark. But like I said, writing in the fountain pen, it's extremely light to the point where like you can't really read it. So I told my husband I was thinking about selling it, but I don't want to sell it. Um, when I wrote the name of the, um, ink and stuff on the swatch card, I didn't use the fountain pen. I used the glass dip pen and I like how it came out with the glass dip pen. It is a little bit darker, but in the fountain pen, like I said, it just comes out really, really, really light. Like you really cannot read it at all. But like I said, I told my husband I was going to sell it, but I'm going to hold on to it. And just when I want to use it, use the glass fountain pen to write with it because it's a very, very pretty color and I really like it. So that was what I purchased at the pen show. Um, I got this ink for free, which is the Private Reserve ink and it's in the color green. This is the only one that I did not swatch because I was gonna gift it to my husband. I told him I was gonna get him a pen, but he doesn't wanna write in green ink. So I may just give it to my son. That way he'll have a different color to have in his little, if he wants to start a collection, that's fine. But I think I'm going to give this one to him. I'm not going to use it. Um, I'm not really a green person. Even though I do have one green ink in my collection outside of this. That's from First World Press. But again, like I said, it was free. So, can't be free. But I did get that from the show. Um, The stuff that I got after the show. Which, I, my birthday was a week later. So, I did order myself this pretty baby right here i was looking at this for a while just trying to do my research on fountain pens the different brands of course i've heard of conklin before i even got into fountain pens um, i'm pretty familiar with them but i saw the pen in person at the pen show and i told my son yeah i'm gonna have to get it so and i purchased it it was my birthday present to myself so this is the conklin 1898 pen in mistle purple so all of the different shades of this pen have um different designs on it so like i said this is mistle purple i believe they have a mistle green a mistle orange and i believe a mistle blue if i'm not mistaken i wanted the purple um, no pen alike of the Mistle Purple are the same. The each design is a little bit different on each one. And I decided to play around and get a totally different nib. Um, I bought the one with the broad nib. And that's how it looks, if you can see it. Most, all of my pens are medium nibs. Except for, I believe, one. 
they can have one that's a fine knit. But um, I decided to play around with this. I had one ink in it, then I changed it out with something different. The ink flow on this is a lot, but I still like the pen. I still like how it writes. It's very, very pretty. So I just switched the ink in it. The ink that I had, it's a gorgeous ink, but I wasn't really feeling it with how it came out of this pen. So I changed it to something darker and more bold. But yeah. This was, like I said, my birthday to myself. I really wanted this pen after I saw it in person at the pen show. Um, and I also had ordered the Twisby, um, what is this? The Twisby Vac um, Ink re um, Reservoirs to be able to, when I fill up my Twisby Vac, I can do it from here because when I was filling the Vac out of the regular ink bottles, yeah, I was making a whole complete mess and then some in my in my office. So some some pen um friends of mine were like, hey, you need to get this. It goes with the vac. And I was like, oh cool. I did look for it at the pen show, but the shop that I normally order from did not have any with them. So I just ordered it on their website. And this is like 14 bucks. So is lovely. I have my ink in it again, the ink that I have in my um vac, which is what ink do I have in this? Ferris Grill Press Bumbling Blossom is what I have. It's a dark, it's a bright pink ink with green and gold um duochrome shimmer in it. So that's the ink that I have in here. So that's what I purchased. Um, latest purchase is the Twisby Ro Rosso, and it is a fiery red color, and I actually have a red ink in it, and I got this pen case. Um, I did not have a case prior. I had my pens in something else, and I didn't like them rubbing and bumping against each other when I was wanted to like to take it with me. So <laughs> I told my husband, I feel like a pen nerd now. I feel like I'm official because I have a legit case for my fountain pens. Um, so yeah. So this was my newest venture of getting the the Twisby Rosso and the ink that I bought it with is my now second wearing ghoul ink. It's um, Dracula. It's a pretty, pretty red ink. I'm not a fan of red, but I saw this and it was really, really gorgeous and it goes really well with the pen. Um, that this this that red twisby will only carry this ink until further notice. So again, that's the pre-swatch card that comes in all of the boxes for their brand. So it's a bright red with purple shimmer in it. I thought that was really unique. Um, let's see if you guys can see the shimmer right down camera. But yeah, it's Bram Stoker's Dracula. If you don't know that wearing gold inks. Um, their inks are based off of literature, so I thought that was interesting. So there's a lot of inks that are from different books and stuff and characters and everything of that nature. So yeah, again, that's what's in this pen. It will always be in this pen, probably until I finish this whole bottle of ink. I prefer to have this pen to go with this ink. I don't want it in anything else. So yeah, but this is the gorgeous pen case that I have to carry my pens. So like I said, when I go to like plan the shows and do some meetups, I can feel legit and official now. So ha ha ha. I know that sounds kind of nerdy, but that's okay. I love it. Um, The last thing I'm going to show you guys is the ink swatches. And I hope you guys will be able to see it on camera under this lamp. Um, My ink swatches are in order of how I purchased them. So yeah, I am going to go down the list and I'll make sure that we'll get close-ups. I think I got about, let's see, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 13 inks, not including, nope, 14, I'm cor correct myself. And that's not including the private reserve ink because I'm not including that in my collection. So I have 14 inks total. Out of the 14, one is a calligraphy ink from first world press that you cannot use in um, the fountain pens you can only use it in glass with glass dip pens because of the thickness of it it will most definitely damage the pens but when i get to that you guys will be able to see it 
So real fast in order, like I said, they're in order of how I purchased them. My first one is the Pelican ink and it's in the color Royal Blue. This was the very first ink I started out with when I wanted to get into fountain pens. And um, I won't ever get rid of it. It just reminds me of where I started with it. But Pelican is a really good brand and a really good ink. So I most definitely, you know, I do use it from time to time. Um, my second ink and the next few that you're going to see is all from Ferris Wheel Press. Like I said, that's what I started out with. That's what I know. I love their inks. So, yeah, you're going to see a lot of these in my collection. Um, the second one is the Tumbling Time Blue. It's a dark blue ink with a red sheen and, if I'm not mistaken, um, silver shimmer in it, as you can see on camera. Um, I would take them out the plastic, but they're a little hard to kind of slide that in. There you go. Probably see it a little bit better. But yeah, that's how that looks. And again, like I said, all of my inks are shimmer inks. This is the only one that's not from Pelican, but everything else you're going to see has shimmer in it. Um, the next ink is Queen and Castle. This one is like a... I guess a dark golden color and it has pink and gold no like pink no I'm sorry correct me correct me it's rose gold shimmer and I apologize so this one and another ink that I have from them has rose gold shimmer so yeah and in that yellow Genhao fountain pen that you guys first saw in the beginning, this is that's the ink that's in that pen. So that pen will also carry the ink until fresh notice, but probably forever until I use the whole bottle. <clears throat> um, my next one is the first will press the limited edition from last year of 2023, which was the fluttering heart, and it is a. It's a blush ink with, if I'm not mistaken, blush shimmer in it. I don't believe that's rose gold. But that's how that is. Um, this was the ink that I first started out with in my Conklin pen. But I didn't like how it looked coming out. So I changed it to something that was darker. And I'm much happier with it now. Um, this is one of my favorite inks. It's very pretty, but I prefer it in a medium or fine nib um, point. It just looks a little bit better with the flow when it comes out. The next one that came out, it came out with this was the um the Purple Jade Rabbit and that was the Curious Collaboration Series from last year. So this one is purple and the shimmer on this is silver. And this is not purple. It's a pale lavender color, dark lavender. So that's how that is. Um, the next one is, and let me see if I pronounce it right, Tumulus Tides. This is a pretty, I'm going to say sky blue color, and it has the silver shimmer in this one also. And I'm, like I said, I hope the camera is picking up the shimmer. I'm trying to get it with the, uh, with the light on it. All right, here we go, you guys. The next one is Bumbling Blossom. That is the bright pink ink that is in my Twisby vac. And you might not be able to pick up the shimmer on this one. Let's see. Um, actually, yes, if you can look right there. So Bumbling Blossom has the, the green and gold duochrome ink. I don't know why on here the ink, the shimmer didn't come out the way I wanted, but there if you can just see it it's really really pretty on purple on, on paper i love it um one of my favorite inks is poison envy um poison envy is purple but it has a serious green um sheen to it and then i believe the shimmer in that is if it's not gold it's green so it's funny because on here, the words are written like almost totally green. But when I write with it in my journal, my words tend to be more purple. And every so often I get the green um, splash in the background of it. 
So it's kind of cool how that ink kind of changes up when you're writing on different um, paper textures. Um, this one is Hardy Harvest. This is a fall, like a fall autumn orange. And this one has the rose gold shimmer in it. I think this one came out back in November for the fall collection. So I most definitely have picked this up because fall is my favorite season. It's my favorite time of year. So that one was a must in my collection. And I wrote with this ink a very lot um, from November, even like all the way till Christmas, I wrote with it. Uh, the next ink, which is the calligraphy ink I was telling you guys about. This is Celestial Soray. So it's a very dark blue. And I can show you the box. It's this box right here. This came out with the Hardy Harvest ink. Um, but that's how it looks. And the glitter in it is silver. It's really like sil silvery chunks of glitter in it. Um, I'll take it out the box. You guys can probably see it a little bit better in here. So yeah, you can see the shimmer in there. I'm gonna turn it to the back side. There we go. So yeah, and again, like I previously said, this ink you cannot use this in fountain pens because the calligraphy inks are much thicker in texture. It will most definitely clog your fountain pen nibs and damage. So you do not want to use this in the ink. Like I said, you can use glass dip pens or which I purposely bought this for the um the ink and just haven't popped these open yet. Is the the wet and calligraphy um handle with the different nibs. So most definitely you can use the calligraphy inks with this. So that's what I purposely bought this for. Um I find that when I use the glass dip pen with this, because it dries so fast, every time I go to dip it and keep writing, I can't get nothing on the paper because it just dries really quickly. But I was told that when you use the different nibs to put onto the wooden pen, it doesn't dry out at all. So I can't wait till I, you know, can sit and try to do that and use that, um, use those nibs with that ink. Because I really like that ink a lot. Blue tends to be one of my favorite inks, so that's why I bought that one. But um, when I use the nibs, I will probably do a video on it. And that way you guys can see it up close and personal to see how it flows and, and does. But like I said, with the glass dip pens, it, it just dries up entirely too fast. Um, This is, the next two were part of the last release that recently came out. Um, I know I'm gonna butcher this name. I tried to get my husband to pronounce it and I don't even think he got it right. So we're gonna work this out. This is the limited edition for this year for First World Press and this card Auroralis, I think we got it, babe. Did we got that? Mm -hmm. Yeah, see, my husband's sitting in the background while I record. So, yeah, we've been, I asked him the other day, I was like, please pronounce this because I have no clue. But, um, this is in my transparent purple twis Twisby pen. And I love this ink. I love purple and pink inks. But I think I have more purple inks than pink. Yeah, I have three purple inks and only two pinks. So, yeah. But I love this. This is grown to be my favorite. It is a dark, deep purple, and it has the um, the purple shimmer in it. I believe it's purple and not gold. Let me double check the box. No. The box says it is a purple base. The sheen is yellow. Nope, that's the wrong box. Let's start over, you guys. Um, it doesn't even say it on this box. I was reading a Poison Emmy box. Um, this is the limited edition one. It doesn't say. So we're gonna say it's purple with a, a, like a rose gold purple shimmer. So if you can see by the falling on the box and then the shimmer and the ink, it matches. So right now, we're gonna say it's a, ro a, a deep rose gold purple shimmer in it so yeah this is the limited edition one like i said this is in my twisby um transparent purple one pur purple fountain pen i'm sorry and i love this it's a really pretty on paper it's gorgeous and the other one that came out for the last release was called knitted nettle this one 
it's a green ink again i told you guys i don't like green but i had really wanted this ink because of the shimmer in it um it's a dark green base with a red sheen and the pink and gold um shimmer that's in it which i'm sure you should be catching on camera with the lighting so that's how it looks i've been writing with this a lot this is the box but i have been writing with this this ink like a lot a lot i really like how it looks on paper every few words i can see the the pink shimmer kind of come out um, it's a really pretty shade of green it's not bright and it's not a regular green so the dark green i can kind of go ahead and do so yeah this has kind of been my favorite ink to write with um the last two inks are from wearing cool so it's wendy darling and dracula so let's do dracula and again like i told you guys these are in order of purchase but i'm gonna do dracula first so dracula is the bright red and it has that purple um shimmer to it and it's really pretty i i like it it's really different i noticed that the shimmer in the wearing goals are um deeper and brighter if that makes sense so when i'm writing with the ink i don't know if you can see it on here but you can see like every few letters you can see the shimmer i think with their brand I, you can see the shimmer more when you write versus first will press i think with first will press it just kind of depends on what ink color it is so yeah i've wrote, been writing with this for two days also and it's really really nice so we're gonna back up to wendy darling so this is me writing it with the glass dip pen and that's how the ink looks when it's swatched a few times. So, like I said, you can see the light blue and then the hues of pastel pink and purple and then the um, the silver shimmer. It's, it's really, really pretty. I like it. So, that's why I told my husband I kind of didn't want to part with it just yet. I'm going to give it a shot. I'm just going to, there you go, that's a better angle. You guys can see the glitter in the words. I'm going, to, I'm going to give this a try. I'm going to just, when I want to use it, I'll just use the um the glass dip pen to write with it. Because like I said, I used it when just writing on the swatch cards. And it came out really dark. You can see it clearly without having to like squint your eyes. But yeah, with the fountain pen, it's just entirely like too freaking light for me. And I'm like, I wear glasses. So if I can't see it with the glasses on, I most definitely can't see it with the glasses off. So we're gonna give it a shot. Um, I'll do a video soon of me writing with it so you guys can kind of see the difference with the fountain pen versus the glass dip pen. And you guys can give me your opinion and judgment on it. And I'll go from there. So yes, like I said, that's my little collection of inks. Um, like I said, I bought the cards at the pen show and the cards are also from Wearing Gold. If you did not see it, I will show it to you. It says Wearing Gold on the back. Like I said, my son picked out the rabbit, but they have the rabbit, the dog, the cat. It's a water droplet and um, Tinkerbell, but he picked these out. I told him to pick one and that was his choice, so I went with it. And it was 50, 40 or 50 cards in the pack. So I still have all of these to fill. Um, I'm in no rush to fill these cards. But the way I was swatching, my inks was in a, a little B6 journal, and it was kind of bleeding through the paper. So when I saw these at the pen show, I was like, yep, got to have it. And I re-swatched all of my inks, and I'm so happy that I bought them because it's a lot neater and cleaner. And the cards are thick, so that way the ink does not bleed through on the other side. So I'm happy I bought them. It was a great uh, investment of $5 for the swatch cards. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, this is my video. This has been my stuff over the last few weeks of a uh, fountain pen frenzy, as I'm going to call it. So I'm about to be getting back to doing my regular planner videos. Also, like I said, life has just been life and I just haven't had a chance to do much of anything between birthdays and extracurricular activities. But I'm going to try to make most definitely post a video up on my channel one or two days a week so please start being on the lookout for videos coming back 
If you are not following me on Instagram, I will leave my um, IG name down in the bottom of the description. Please make sure you go and follow me. Check out my posts. I do post there pretty frequently, like just about every other day because I do post my journaling spreads, my planner spreads and stuff. But um, yeah, if you're not following me, please make sure to go and follow me on Instagram. If this is your first time seeing my video, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I do have a lot of videos that I've been doing and I'm going to keep it up just for fun. This isn't me trying to be, you know, content creator of the year or anything like I see most people. I'm just really happy with my hobby. It brings a lot of joy to me. And, you know, just to have a few friends in the community doesn't hurt. So, like, again, make sure you guys go follow me on IG. And I will put, if you guys have any questions on any of my products, please feel free to um, leave a comment on this video or DM me a message on Instagram. And I will be more than welcome to share any information where I purchase my stuff from. I do purchase them from a few different stationery shops that I have been ordering from over the last few months. And that I enjoy ordering from. So, yeah. Um, other than that, you guys have a wonderful day. Have a wonderful upcoming week. Um, I know many have kids on spring break, so please enjoy it. Have a lot of fun. Make some great memories. And be on the lookout for the next video. You guys have a good one. Bye, guys.